To make this, you're going to need a paintbrush, some kind of shaping tool, clay, chalk pastels, and paint. To make the body of the shark, I took a large ball of clay and shaped it into a log, but with one side tapered, and I left the other side a bit bigger. To create the tail, you're going to take the tapered side, and you're going to pinch it upwards, and then you're going to pinch the bottom side downwards to create the vertical tail that sharks have. And this is what the tail ended up looking like after more shaping. Now we're going to start creating the head on the opposite side by flattening it out and creating a rectangular shape. Um, I recommend looking at photos of hammerhead sharks while doing this because it helps you replicate it to a T. After getting down the basic shape of the head, I just pinched right below it to create the neck. Here I took a tool to create an incision between the upper and lower tail fins so I could make the tail a bit wider and open it up more and just make it larger. This is what the body looks like after all my shaping was done. I rounded out the head to make it look more realistic. Before we can move on to adding fins, we're gonna have to orient our shark to the way we want it to look after it's completely done. And I wanted mine to look like it was swimming through the water, so I just curved its body in some places to make it look more lively and fluid. I'm gonna use these two pieces to create the two dorsal fins. For the fins, you're gonna mold your clay into triangular pieces and bend the tip of the triangle in the direction of the tail to give it a curved and more realistic look. I just tapered out the base of the fin to help it attach to the body more easily and blend seamlessly. This is what it should look like once it's attached to the body and now I'm going to go ahead and create the minor dorsal fin. This is what it should look like when both fins are attached and remember that the second dorsal fin should be smaller than the first one. Now we're going to create the side fins using these pieces of clay and they're going to be six total. The first one is done so I'm going to replicate it on the other side and add four more smaller ones on the lower end of the shark. This is what it looks like with all the fins attached. As you can see, we have six side fins and two dorsal fins. With a tool, create gills on the side of the shark between its head and pectoral fin. To color the shark, I'm gonna take chalk pastels and dust them onto the body. My plan is to go around the outside edges with the lighter color and then place the darker color in the middle. I added eyes to the side of the head and used black paint to color the clay black. This is what the shark looks like after baking fully complete but without any sealant. Mm -hmm. 